Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your April general 2018 reading. We'll do love, we'll do career and finance, and then we'll do some additional messages of support. Alright, so this deck is has reversal, so let's see. We're gonna start out with love. Thank you for the love messages for cancer. True, accurate messages for cancers. For my cancer people. What are the messages you want them to know right now, Lord God? Going into April. Alright. The Eight of Swords. Some of you are feeling trapped in your thoughts. Every time you try to devise a plan about how to move in a certain situation, your thoughts go right back to um, negative. Just go back to negativity. Go, goes back to feeling stuck. Before the Eight of Swords is the Seven of Swords, and that's plans needing to be revised. Making a plan of action sometimes is secret, but you're at the Eight of Swords, so it's like you, you're stuck here. You know, you, it, I made a plan, but now I'm not moving. I, I, I feel uh, hindered, hindered in thought. All right. Okay, the Strength card. Is reversed. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, a Leo, um, or someone who's just not doesn't know how to tame themselves and, and their desires and their they don't know how to tame themselves and their desires. The Ten of Cups is reversed. Also, um, what cro what crosses the Eight of Swords is you feeling stuck to maybe an out of control Leo or an out of control dominant person or you feel like you just don't have the strength to get out of a certain situation the ten of cups is reversed there is no fulfillment here there is no happiness um you can feel like your home is in disarray the home when i say the home it's more so um the people in the home, you know, your household, it's just, it's just not good. All right, Knight of Pentacles in the upright in the current situation. So there's an offer, um, a stable offer, maybe from a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. They're moving slow. Or this is your energy where you want to offer something somewhere else. Um, but you're moving slow about it. And or someone else wants to offer you something. But they're, they're taking their time. The Eight of Wands reversed. So in the past, it might have been a block communication with someone. Or just lack of communication going forward we have the high priestess upright uh i think someone some of you are keeping secret that you're trying to get out of a situation you're going to hold your cards to your chest you know you're not going to really let in on what's going on with you the high priestess here you're also being divinely guided trust your intuition pray meditate the answers are there for you the two of pentacles in the reverse. Some of you are really dropping a situation. Could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You're really... The two of pentacles is upright, is juggling, is, you know, is handling it, but it's a lot, whatever it may be for you. Reverse, it's, I'm just letting all of it go. I'm tired of juggling. This could be the love affair, too, or the business relationship, that's not approved of. Um, you're letting it go. You're letting a love affair go. You're letting maybe two jobs go. Nice. External to you is the Ten of Pentacles. That's good energy. My, my cards are all jacked up now. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's really good energy. Um, so external to you is solid family life, 
health, home, wealth, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, doesn't have to be sun, moon, or rising. But external to you is maybe someone who you look you look at or you view very solid and stable. Okay. All right. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Cancer hopes and fears. Huh? Ace of Cups uh, in the reverse. Some of you are emotionally drained by a certain situation. We'll pull cards on that. Uh, hopes and fears. Of course, this would be a fear. Um, or maybe for some of you, you are you're just hoping to just be depleted of emotions from a certain situation so that you can walk away. Okay. And the outcome. What's the outcome? What's the outcome for cancer? Wow, your card, the Queen of Cups in the upright. That's nice. Uh, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is typically cancer. So you getting back in control. You're coming in your full element, getting back in control of, of course, your emotions, your intuition, what you want and what you desire, what makes you happy on a soul level. Um, it looks like you're trying to get out of something. Something is ending. What is the Eight of Wands in reverse in the past? What's the Eight of Wands in reverse in the past? Wow, y'all got some lion cards. All right, um, the Eight of Wands in the past reverse. Eight of Wands. Okay, there we go. The Four of Cups in the reverse. Somebody is really, really done with. It. So, someone in your past, communication was cut off. Rejection is here. They were completely done with a certain situation. They weren't looking at whomever this is. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They didn't want to talk to you. You wanted to talk to them. They weren't taken to any offers. I mean, to any offers. What's the Ten of Cups in reverse? The Ten of Cups in reverse. The Ten of Cups. In reverse, the ten of cups. Okay, these flew out. The Knight of Swords and the Emperor. Very immature. They're upright, immature. Air sign, maybe Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone who just comes in, rushes in, gives their truth. They're making the household unbearable, unhappy. They're very dominant. They could have Aries in their chart or Taurus in their chart. You could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries. You know, it's their way or no way. The, I'm hearing there's a, a great sense of entitlement with this person. Oh, I just heard you created a monster, Cancer. Maybe this is your doing. I don't know. Um, who is the Knight of Pentacles? Who is the Knight of Pentacles? What's the Knight of Pentacles in the current position? The current in the present. It's the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. The Six of Cups. Nice. So maybe you want to offer something to someone who you feel is a soulmate or vice versa. Someone you've known for a while. Someone from your past. You're having nostalgic thoughts of the good times. Maybe with said person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. It doesn't have to be those signs, but that's the present energy where you just, you want to offer love, stability elsewhere. Who is the High Priestess? What's the High Priestess? The High Priestess. The Fool in Reverse. So you're not willing to take a leap of faith or someone's not willing to take a leap of faith. 
maybe because of messages, downloads, knowledge of this not turning out in the manner that it should. Um, this could be an Aries you're dealing with. Uh, they're just not willing to take a leap of faith with you. They're coming in very entitled, very cold. What's the Two of Pentacles in reverse? The Two of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Wands. Some of you, are, well, just putting a rest, you know, you're, you're ending a certain situation maybe where you weren't the other person the only party involved and uh you're done with it but this person may be aries sagittarius leo someone arriving they just keep showing up they just keep coming back um they're in and out they're in and out with their feelings they're in and out with their motives they're very passionate but at the same time it's self-serving. It's self-pleasing. They're all about self. The Ten of Pentacles. What's the Ten of Pentacles? The Seven of Swords. Wow. You, and I saw that here. The Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. You're trying to go backwards to maybe someone, maybe this person who cut things off with you because you need to clear up some energy that you were already involved in. You want to offer something solid and stable or vice versa. Um, Seven of Swords and then the Ten of Pentacles. You, you, you're really trying to devise a plan of action so that you can have some solid uh, energy, some solid, a solid life with someone. You know, you're tired of the turbulence, the back and forth, the up and down, people feeling entitled, people being cold. People being just self-pleasing and self-centered, self just consi just concerned with self. What's the Ace of Cups in reverse? The Devil in reverse. Yeah, some of you are you are done. Maybe with the Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, but Aries in particular. The love, the cup has run dry for them. You're coming out of third party situations. You're dropping the ball on juggling. Uh, I'm hearing some of you learned your lesson. Hmm. And what's the Queen of Cups? What's the outcome for the Queen of Cups? The Six of Swords in reverse. We got the Seven of Swords, Six of Swords, Eight of Swords, Six of Swords in reverse. Some of you are not moving away from the drama, the turbulence. Or maybe there's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that won't move away from you. You want to move away from the drama, but they're trying to keep you stuck. The will of fortune, nice. Things are happening. You have the devil in reverse and the will of fortune upright. That's really good. I think what I just heard was... Someone, some of you have learned your lesson. Uh, things are happening in divine timing for you. You're very intuitive. You're in check with yourself and spirit. You know that this must happen. Whatever it is happening for you, you know that it must happen. Um, we've got temperance in reverse here. Maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. They're coming in reverse, out of control, self-serving, self-pleasing, emotionally up and down. In and out, night at once down here, um, or you you need to have patience in dealing with this because everything is going in right. Have patience, the hangman, hang in there, hang on because enlightenment has it seems to have happened for you in a sense, but it's you're still working through the energy, you're still working through trying to get out of something. It looks like you're trying to get out of a relationship. Um, a monster that you created nine of swords yeah but there's mental anguish here back and forth negative thoughts low energy some of you need to check in with your health too uh high blood pressure hypertension here 
some of you just having some real anxiety about moving forward but you have to move forward um, and, and you will the, the will of fortune is here it's turning for you the devil in reverse some of you know that you've got to get out of this situation so that's love for you cancer some of you are dealing with a very um, I hear an egomaniac like very egotistical person it may have been a monster that you created along the way and now you see that you created this monster and you want out um, and and they you know that scares a narcissistic person when you wake up to their not their um, narcissism when you wake up to their game they're um, definitely they don't know what to do with that you know let's do so let's get some messages for career and finance career and finance for cancer what can cancer expect in career and finance career and finance career and finance for cancer all right i'm gonna put those back it's way too many career and finance for cancer eight of cups all right some of you emotionally have checked out of uh the situation and involving your career and finance some of you walked away from from lucrative jobs but it just wasn't serving you right you cut out what no longer um what no longer served you here like like the queen of swords uh got very distinct and some of you oh i don't know dang it it was supposed to be some of you walked away from really um you know, really large corporations, government institution type of jobs. Some of you were high up in your career. I I don't want to say it, but I keep hearing it. Some of, some of you are walking away from an established relationship, a marriage, a Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini is here with the Queen of Swords. But some of you are walking away from from, from you know jobs that you've been at for a long time. Um, it, a, a real career. You put time into your career, and you're walking away from that. Presently, five of swords, yeah. Not walking away without doing verbal battle, verbal sparring, um, the indecision within yourself. Uh, people, either you or the other person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, trying to, you know, trying to win at all costs with all with words, really trying to cut you down because they see that maybe you 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 see what they're about they're found out and they don't know how to handle this is a very narcissistic person in the past the devil you felt chained to either this person or this job you felt like it was toxic but you just kept coming back you uh, uh you stayed in it way too long way past its expiration date the present you laying down the burden the ten of wands the burden that is this job or this person or this relationship. You can no longer carry it. All right. Wow. And your power is the fool. You're taking a leap of faith, a new a leap of faith in a different direction, a new development. Some of you are going to have a completely new career change here. Four of Cups external to you. Someone is um, not seeing what either you're offering them or what's being offered to them that is still concerned or worried about what's a rat here. It's still concerned about the past, which was not good for them. Your hopes and fears is the three of cups. Nice to have reconciliation, to date, to flirt, um, to have celebration maybe about a new path. Um, this four of cups could be how your job feels about you you don't they don't value you as much as you you feel like they should the outcome the high priestess nice didn't you have that for that no the high priestess nice just listening to spirit getting in check with yourself listening to your intuition i'm gonna pull another card here the knight of pentacles you wanting to okay I, and all of these flipped over the outcome, the high priest is listening to your intuition, offering something solid and stable, but take your time with it because there is a two of cups type of relationship. 
uh, that is destined here with the Wheel of Fortune to happen for you, Cancer, King of Cups coming up, or maybe with another Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer like yourself. Um, or there's another position in offer in your in your career that will fulfill you on an emotional level because you're checking out emotionally here with the Eight of Cups. It's supposed to happen this way. So this could be relationship or this could be job related. But it all looks good. It all was kind of like in sync with the last reading. I'm trying to move away from a certain situation. This, the air signs are coming up heavy in the fire signs. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. What? Yeah, Capricorn and Taurus coming up too. All right, let's get some spirit messages. Get some additional guidance here. Career looks good. Some of you just really contemplating going in a different direction. That also could have been love. I mean, we're going in a different direction and doesn't look bad. It looks like it's guided, guided by spirit, and that's really good. So just stay in prayer. Um, it's not what you do, but it's how you do things. If you're leaving one position, leave it in the manner you would want to leave in, you know? Um, all right, three cards of additional support for cancer. Three cards of additional support. Okay, let's go. Hobbies, finances, health care change. We did see that with the Nine of Swords. Some of you need to be concerned about your health. Uh, some I'm hearing that some of you, yes, you're young. But at the same time, you might not be making the best choices in regards to your health. You might be ignoring something that is, is uh, plaguing you or, or, or ailing you. You need to, uh, oh, I just heard get a second opinion about something. Um, be very concerned with your health. The Nine of Swords was there. Um, some of you could be going through surgery. Some of you, there could be blood work that needs to be done. Um, if not that, yeah, hyper, I'm hearing hypertension, um, high cholesterol, something like that. Finances, this is not always a bad card. This could be good. Finances are coming in for you. Your finance could be looking good or there could be an upswing here for you. If you're concerned about finances, it's definitely um, concerned about you also. So hopefully um, things are looking good for you. Hobbies. Uh, some of you have hobbies so you need to partake in a hobby because you're going through a transitional stage. You need to put your time and effort into something else. Not Don't, well, okay, I'm hearing this like really clear don't just get off work and just go home when you know home is in disarray it's unhappy there you need to find a hobby you need to find an outlet uh for some of you you need to monetize your hobbies some of you have something you do as a hobby and you, and you need to monetize it because maybe you're good at it or this is that new career uh shift that may happen for you or has happened for you um, yeah, so those are the messages for you, Cancer. I hope that they, they make sense for you. I hope that they shed a bit of clarity for you. Please request a personal reading if we can pull your your own energy and um, you can gain even more clarity and insight. Uh, once again, thank you for tuning in. All of my information is below. All of my information is below. Follow me on Instagram. Ask me a question there. I'll get back to you as soon as possible um follow me on instagram my handles are below choose to fund the page click the gofundme link uh, any donation is welcome all right so take care guys i'll see you in mid-april remember when in doubt pray i'm praying for you guys pray for me as well all right